<clears throat> good night, guys. A good, great night to all who tune into the realest thing coming out of Guyana. Tonight, I'm gonna laugh. PNC charlatan and pencil pans by. Mm. Oh, wow, this is really hot. This got milk and everything is I. Huh? Yeah. I shouldn't put milk. Can you know what? No? I mean, I wish you should mumble about. My mama. Huh? <clears throat> Lord have mercy. For my coffee, I tell him as he make the coffee with the intention to make sure I don't ask him for make back no coffee. So here now is this morning I talk about Paul Bearby. Is this morning I spoke about him? The Paul Bearby. <clears throat> Barky, Barky, Barky the Paul Bearer. Let me tell you here's what's going on. No, I can't make up these things. Here was me problem with these people. All I would like to know is as a black You can't say so-called intellectual. He's no way. He doesn't have or can't obtain a position that would suggest that he's an intellectual. You see, to be an intellectual, y'all know, yeah, mostly I know where intellectual is, right? Let me break it down in layman terms. So an intellectual is somebody who uses their brain a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is this intellectual don't look, you don't find an intellectual posing like this. You understand? And you obviously don't find an intellectual with a tight pants and a, and a, and a boots, a, a shoe looking like he's going skiing in front of a Range Rover. Now, here what happened. So we got Tabal Low and Field Hand over he, he, um, the SOPs. That is, he has concrete, he has now concreted his position, right? Lower field concrete position. Somebody send something to me there. Me I got time for. Wait, 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 I see something there. Yeah. So this buy express a whole battle. I know normally men who have issues. You understand? They don't see their, their self or what they're, what they're containing within them. The anger that they're containing with them, they don't see it as a big woman. They just see it as a little girl trying to come out. Is that right? Should do anything? Okay. Good baby. Good girl. Yeah. So, this banner Turn into a bad woman today. I have to read the post. Now, he's not too smart. So he go and he found these words. Here I tell you. The height. The height of my vocabulary as it relates to insults is two words that I invented. Low life and hungry belly. Well, I can't say invented them, but I brought it to prominence in Guyana. I make the words them famous. Hello, good night. Hello, Pratik. Good yeah. night. Talk to me, brother. Yeah, um, you know, we come in Suriname since March and the lockdown in Suriname there. And we kept me on kitchen and we need to buy money over here because if they get money, no way. They put it and so on. So they want to know when we come and say, the place will pay it now, they need to check up. Well, I don't think in a hurry, but you'll give back your pension. Eh? Obviously, if it is for you, you got to get it. 
Right, your brother. Yeah, okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Same to you, brother. Yeah. So the buy. Somebody must call you. Well, a lot of people call me. And then I said, man, could take your heart from the buy. But here was me problem with these battles. Great leaders have always given things. They do things. Can anybody call me and tell me that Carl Rickford, Paul Beer, and his Paul, somebody uh, um, corrected me today and said it's P-A-L-L, -L, it says Paul, right? But he's a pole because what he do, he got a pole, handing it to the PNC, but let's add it again, a pole. And you know who knows where they get it? In there. You do the rhyme. They get a pole in there. When you follow Rick Ford, bro. Now, the thing is, you name people who could call this fool and tell him, man, I need this, or show me how to forget this now. You bring two people, just two, I want. I would respect him if you could find two black people with his by help for develop yourself, for the, develop yourself. That's all I want. Because this man is a fighter for cars, you know. He's the fighter for a, a, a crazy cars. <laughs> she won't play. Let me beat you, man. She won't play. Can't she put you over so in she park? Go, can't she put you over so? Go. She won't play. She love you. She will be she eating and she harassing. Yeah. All I want you to show me is two people. That's why I stack a fence to these people. I just go every day for the road, answer me phone every time, call back people like they. Where's the prep? Anybody? No matter why talk, I don't give you a PNC or PVP, wherever. Wherever is your problem, I put it out there or try to get it solved. All I want people to tell me, other than the interest that this boy has created with the funeral clothes that you wear and the black rover, I thought it was a horse. Other than the, the interest that he's generated with this kind of thing, looking like he's an undertaker, right? Other than that, what has he done for people? Just tell me what he ever do. The man is a part of an organization, some Caribbean something, and here with the man, here with the man put up today, buddy. Now you got to study. The Guyanese critic in Franklin Abai. At least that nobody to heal like this. Well, they ain't really nobody just I just worry about. He's in a whole different category. He's a struggler in a next man country. Now he even know we fight this about. Listen to this. Guyanese critic. This Andy Page, something that he, he raised, by the way, he got rid of. After he done talk, Ali talk. Somebody must see with sense, a little more sense than he. Kali has said, by the way, you're saying is libelous. You could get yourself in a problem. I never had to take them a post. I never had to take them a post in my life yet. Whatever I say is duh. It's like it's etched in stone. Yeah, you know so we got we buy Guyanese. Here we said Guyanese critic, but he put act. So it seems that he got excited just to hold down the shift and then chose the act. Right? You know the A with the circle around him is he thought he went to the roundabout when he touched him. So he got all like act. He wanted to make sure his act, Guyanese critic, full stop. And then he went on to say, Now I know where he get his words from. Yeah, my brother. Who's that? No, I can get it for you, though. Oh, shit, it's up on the page. It's up on the page. It's up on the page. It's that on his page, his Facebook page. Safe, Roger. Uh -huh. Yeah. So let me read what this man right. This man sit down. This by 
Well, driving a Range Rover and look at me, look at how I rock. This man is shady, head every day. When you realize this man is just a shot in the pants without a brain, <laughs> but they gotta wear a cap. You gotta wear a cap. You understand? You gotta hide the rays of the sun from your head. You imagine this man operating with 25% of a brain and have sun rays that could be cancerous. You can damage a little bit brain, you got it. And you know you need that for the functionality of your private parts. Because what else you got? What else you could do? <laughs> huh? All you need is 25% of this brain. Forget is a lift. <laughs> this all you need? Where do you see a brain for brother? Let me read it. Oh, Jesus, the thing I lump all inside. He make the car. People make sure he never asks you back for my car, people. So, that guy, he's critic dot. You do not know me. I am not interested in knowing you. What you talking about, brother? I don't do the world know you. You is one of the few guys there. I have no other pole bearing guys. We never had pole bearers before. I'm uh, um, like internationally world renowned pole bearers. You was the first one out of Guyana into New York. It's not me this way. This is, this is the kind of things I wear. I just dress like Mark Zuckerberg and regular, like Bill Gates and them banner. You know I just dress regular. I don't wear them suit and all them fancy once in a while. I'm just gonna start scratching every them thing. So here we go, I have it. I you don't know me, and I don't, I am not interested in knowing you. Hey my Anna call no you have attack. Hello. Now is the bad time. My you here was sorry, you don't understand English, you like Rick Ford, but you are printed 25% of your brain. All right. Yeah. <laughs> they come in in all races. Yeah. So, you are a deranged alleged child rapist now this is where it, i have the, the thing right so this is where it becomes libelous now if you're alleged an allegation would have had to be made now everybody know i don't make joke with little boy, little girl, I don't make certain joke. I shoot straight. You understand? So this pervert put this for the had to take it down. Now, if I say something, like when I say the man dressed like he works with a funeral home and he range rover look like a horse, that is a matter of fact. That is the perception that I get when I see him wearing the dead man clothes and driving the black it looks like a horse that is my opinion of what he is it's a matter of fact so he got into the library a predator con artist sadistic masochist ppp got a rat buffoon and being being art Beneath my dignity. Now imagine Rick Ford Borg got dignity. Dignity goes in here after all what he said. You hear now? You ever see a bad woman driving a Range Rover? They got one in New York. This hay is a cuss out. This hay is like when you go, yeah, how much I have a pick of here? You have a pick of here with a bad woman. Are in pay some money. You ever see videos in Guyana when people go and they go for do business for them auntie man, they pay them what's happen. Them auntie man is come out and start down. This is where you get in it. 
Yes, eh? Got a rat buffoon and beneath my dignity. So I can be under your dignity. Let me make sure it's spelled D I G N I T Y. So you could be beneath somebody's dignity. You're not study. Every three words is a full stop. You realize where for putting commas and where for putting stops. Go have a bath, brush your teeth, and put on some decent modern clothes. Visit a barber or a beautician of worked for a makeup makeover so you can stop looking like a discrepant, neglected. I feel hurt. I feel hurt. As a black man who fights for the rights of Guyanese, to hear that be told to me by a black man who is a PNC charlatan. You know what is a charlatan? I ain't got much for say you're a charlatan. Somebody who purports to be what they are not in certain field. Because here this music, I never hear a cousin like this. This is Baduman. Harangatang monkey that hooked on crack. Grab some mouthwash and get a cleaning to suppress the stench. This banner been searching for words for try to describe or for say something about me. I can't make up this thing. The man put it on the page, like the page in hole and everything. <laughs> I got a song for you. Them old people say, under my skin, under my skin, that's where he's been, under my skin. Ricky, bye. Ricky. <coughs> Unfortunately, you might not have known, Mr. Burke. Um, I have never lost. You see, the reason for that, there are not two types of facts. You understand? You only got one fact. It's a matter of fact that you're a charlatan, a PNC charlatan. No, all I want you to do, I got to read out all this thing. Monkey that hooked and crack, learn to read, write, and comprehend, to better pretend to be a journalist and pretend to speak sense. Stop behaving like a stalker and psychopath who is a PPP strip club hostess of the night. The plies are trade from the corner of a cesspool. Run along and slither back into the rock, under the rock from which you came. You nasty yellow belly serpent. If you cannot read this post, ask one of your fellow PVP Neanderthals to read it for you. And while you are at it, pay your rent and stop living like a junkyard dog and chunky and go live somewhere dismissed. <laughs> Rick Ford, pencil pushing pans.
both front shoes. There's nothing complicated in how I've drawn my perception of you. It is simple. A black man continues to attack anything and everything that is positive. While he has a Range Rover, two pairs of shoes, and a tight pants. I don't know if the pants stitch like that or if it wash and pull in. He looks like he's a pallbearer. He, in actuality, is a pallbearer. He delivers a pole to PNC people who believe in bullshit. Simple. It's not complicated, and this means I take this down. This is a matter of fact. It's not complicated by saying, buddy. You live in a mad country. You just don't attack Trump. You're attacking the foreign affair minister for this country, black brother. You're attacking everything. All I want to know is when this fight done, brother, when the people are going to win. Is it a case on a daily basis you're helping? You ever help anybody for go up to America? Are there black people that you're affiliated with that could say, man, Rick Ford Burke helped us up in business? I don't think so. You look like the kind of guy who was in circles that you made other people a success. I hear people start by the no Rick Ford Burke, but you, buddy, is a Range Rover. A tight pants, I don't know if it is sewn that way or it is just overwashed in the washing machine. And the shoes that look like you went, you're going skiing for all the days of your life. Minga going to all them words now, and you're suggesting you're some, you, you possess some bit of dignity. How a man with dignity does mustard up words like that? Me? Vocabulary is limited when it comes to insult. Low life and hungry belly. Two words that I brought to prominence in this country. I could only imagine how you just searching through the dictionary and figure out this word and what and what yellow belly slithering and what with Jesus Christ. And you're suggesting those words come from a mind of someone that possesses some semblance of dignity? You gotta show me how you just get up. Hello, good night. Oh shit, sorry about that brother. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bano, when the ma, when I read the thing, I imagine the man stand up in the Range Rover by King Street abusing out. I tell you, you are so when I I said this is a this is full bottom on behavior. You ever never a bottom? Huh? Listen to me, there are many videos circulating of where you go forget. Them go out with them auntie man, you're paying them money. Them stand up with a blue strip of all the clothes. That is you. How you explain the views in it? Why get it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's lucky thing. Miskin tick. Time like if, if people get abusing like they get suicidal. <laughs> Imagine if you see somebody man to take it on we page. Mr. Man, no. Me don't want you got something for say about me and the world no no. Mega for freedom for them. Just for you guys to know. The 27th of January. 2020, 21. The 27th of January, today's date. I'm undefeated. You can't tear apart facts. You could tear apart bullshit looking for facts. 
You can't tear apart facts. And no matter what you say or think about me, remember me not only talk. Me not want to tie pants on my shoes. I is the realest thing coming out of Guyana. Y'all don't forget that. I talk for five years. I talk about a government who had all confidence about itself, who was lying and deceitful, and they're no opposition. I outlive no for y'all. I will outlive no for y'all. The main fact that I am here today speaking yet again shows that y'all it makes sense. Your Range Rover and you and New York and all the senators, you know, it makes sense. Me and all the senators. I is there, don't hear me alone. I is a regular Harry. But funny enough, the fact can't change. Rick Ford Bork could only show a tight pants. I don't know if it was sewn that way or overwash cause that. Looking like he's an undertaker, pole bearer. Driving a vehicle looks like it's a horse. That is a matter of fact. That is all he can show. The Guyanese critic. Day in, day out. There are thousands of people. Thousands, Mr. Burke. Thousands of people. Who could directly come and say, that man there, crazy looking and all, rusty as he is, helped me. You understand what I tell you? Yes, it happens every day. This man, I wake up, people there by my door, I'm going to come, I'm going to talk to everybody and try to see how best I can help them. I have a track record. I don't just come and talk. Like how you that shine and show up and this and that. I got people that I could show. I help in their development. I help in their betterment. This whole country right now. That peace as a result of some of my input. And we fight for democracy. Every day. To stand up to people. Like you, who lying and deceiving and trying to confuse people. But at some point in time, you got reach ahead. Why you believe nobody people frightened when you have to do these views out and cuss out? Not me, brother. Not me. Even though you have the likeness of an undertaker and a vehicle like a horse, me frighten you. Me will frighten the Green Reaper. Not like you can't frighten me, spirit. If don't come, you don't come rougher than me. You hear what I tell you? <laughs> you don't come bad than me. What you have to do is come down here to Guyana and see the struggles of your people. And you might stop lying and deceiving them with the intention of creating hatred in them. A hatred that suffers them. Only brings suffering unto them. Because me see nothing wrong for collecting the things of the PEP, giving and still vote for the PNC. But you ain't telling them that you say, no, 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 we're not. Create, a, create a hatred in people's mind that people even want to go. Forget nothing. Nothing is wrong. Woman attack one man for buy ration, one man for pay bills? Yes. So you don't see nothing wrong with PNC people collecting for the BBB they give in and the BBB in government, they said they for look after everybody. When the PNCs was in government, they said they're gonna look after everybody. I expect nothing less than they're looking after everybody. 
But when you stir up this hatred and create this hateful atmosphere, you understand, y'all, God left for your partner. Not even God, if, man, man, not tell me I pray to God every day and, and in a sea that I is a giraffe. <laughs> in a sea, I a giraffe. He and I left. Y'all stop. Y'all stop with your wicked ways. So y'all hear the thing I read for y'all, they just don't. No? Burke is a jerk and a jackass. Boss man, good night. He more bad than a red woman. Oh God. You ever see Auntie Man abuse out? That sound like one. Oh my mom. Tell the man, say yo, bracelet man, you need a little raise. <laughs> yeah, just wicked. Good night. Sue his ass. Report him to the relevant authorities. Poor. Yeah, there's somebody showed him a place name four club. I was driving the ass. I am quarreling with him and I'm 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 annoyed with him that he's attacking black brothers like himself. Where we go Sue Rick football now? You <laughs> how much a pants and a shot could sell back for? They got see the clothes off his back and at the eyes and because <laughs> no man, you can't do that. You can't do that. Nice. Mr. Critic, can you ask the health minister why it costs 25,000 for COVID test to travel to New York? My word nonsense, you ask. There is no COVID test to travel. By the man watching me in black and no E, pretending to be Will Smith or something. <laughs> Rick just described himself. Bork bad than Megan. <laughs> you imagine people affiliating the man with Megan? Megan is a mentally ill lady. People affiliate him work with Megan after he abused. Good night, critic. I missed out on your live this morning. I'm watching it now. Congratulations. Yeah. Imagine the man put abusing for me and people think the man is Megan, a mentally ill lady who is abusing and putting her hand in her private and, and smelling it and tasting it. Like it. Abusing somebody related right away to Megan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, guy, easy, easy. Uh -huh. It's a low and feel hand over you. Or just for just for your information, work. Get things and put it out there. Here how you just compete with a man like me. You gotta go there help the poor. Y'all ain't catching this game, you know. Y'all ain't understand. I telling y'all what for do for compete with me. To get what I have. To be in my position. A simple thing. And by the time we done with we fight, and me help and you help and all we help, nobody in this country need nothing no more. Everybody will be satisfied. All you gotta do is help us say the PPP holding the guy, the black people. Oh God, the do it this, the doing the. That's the information we are giving people. What are you doing to help them, right? What are you showing them? Oh, fight! Let me fight! Eh? For real? The last time they listened to, to Mark Bench, come on, run the office for some of them dead. Nobody ever go and tell a little family man a sorry, I carry our family if I go and get a dead. Hmm? Every time you follow you the idea end up dead or they end up worse after the day. Now, where was Rickford Burke? And what did Rickford Burke do? Can anybody tell me what did he do when the PNC was in government? The PNC that he's now fighting for? Did he call and get house lots for people? Can we attribute Rickford Burke's activism to any roads done or anything done for Guyanese? And, and may want to fudge the people. Fudge them. We talk about PNC people. Can anybody call me now and say, critic, I receive this. As a result of what Rickford Burke did, something that is tangible that we could see. I know I bullshit me. And if you have benefited something from me, call me now, like here, where you benefit. How you benefit from being a part of the Guyanese Critic organization? Watching the Guyanese Critic program, you ever call and get through it something? If you all remember anything, just call now. 
and tell me how you have benefited from being a part of the Guyanese critic. What the number they up on the screen there? He robbed the people in Anne's Grove. He's a real low life over here in New York. He's a piece of shit. He's nobody, man. Me no one abuse like him. Me no Hakeem Jeffers couldn't help him. Bork is screwed up. He was calling on the Secretary of State to do not get involved in Guyana Venezuela issue. The new Secretary of State issue statement, he is quiet. The man too stupid to realize. Hello, good night. Talk to me. Association. Hold on, hold on. Let me hear you again. Let me hear you there. I said, I like the one GCA, the Guidance Cricket Association. Roger. On a real note, though, everybody should have benefited from you. For the mere fact that you speak truth. It's facts, it's live, it's direct. It's not what somebody said, he says, she said, whatever. You can't make up these things. These are things that actually happen. It's just people's failure to, to admit and people's failure, basically they're in denial. As me and Motley said, the truth hurts. <laughs> exactly, the truth, the, the, the truth hurts. So when people say that, that how um, they do things in people, is you are doing what is or was actually needed in this country. You know what I'm saying? People to be educated because you know a lot of people and, and I, I, I say this humbly and I say this with no no um I mean nothing by it. A lot of people like myself, for instance, sometimes I might be reading something and I'm not comprehending it, and I feel that is a problem with a lot of people. They people read, but maybe they don't understand what they're reading. And you are so blessed to be able to put it down in a layman's way. So that everybody in our country can understand it because we have this lingo, how we talk and these things, you know what I'm saying? You're able to communicate with the average citizen out there. And even the ones who say they want to hear you is listen to you. I quite sure, right now I'm listening to you. I quite sure he's still listening to your program. He has to listen tonight. And diligently he's listening very carefully. He's gonna <laughs> learn something. Roger, buddy, we talk. Yo, yo, Thanks for the words of support. Cool. Yep. So if there's anything that you have benefited um, from Rickford Burke, you, you get he help you out in business in New York. Well, he did update. He help you out at some, just give me a call. And what have I contributed? We, we got people calling. Who do I call, call? Someone need to look into all those certificates Burke have behind the wall. Man, I could get, I could follow this whole while the sorting is. They got sorting weights you could get in a day. You could go and do a course. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, you could do A, B, C and get. Um... Hi, good night.
Because of you, Ituni benefits two lands and the AP and you other than that, the AP and you is pressure. Good night, Mr. Kutu. Congratulations your office, large up yourself. Kutu, my brother, lots of people know what you have done for our brothers and sisters of the land, regardless of the politics of political affiliations. Rickford supplied the flowers when my grandmother died. <laughs> yeah, I don't make them kind of joke, the boy. You might walk out of your room for truth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. And I see the master today. Hey, man. <laughs> like the man, he said, take a picture, you know, he look good and thing, but he realized people would recognize a funeral suit when they see man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, can we get one body to call? and say how Bork helps. Please, one body, anybody. Come on, you have got to be at the live and uh, work, call and change up your voice and claim that you do something for yourself. You could call and change up your voice, brother. Somebody call Fina. A this is cool, I'm waiting for you to have my back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh God. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> the world, Bork and the rest of them, critic, you look old by, all right, I'm going to look young. There's somebody calling for Bork. Let me hope this for, for he. He got win one. Hello, good night. Uh -huh. Roger, brother. Hey, man, we can't get one body out of all the people. What this man is talking, or this man is talking to himself. Ricky, bye. Ricky, bye. Young, I can't, I can't change every voice. Hey, hey, Ricky, do this for me. <laughs> Ricky, I can't hold you now. <laughs> Gentlemen, in a man, Ricky, I ain't gonna call out your number. Nobody ain't gonna know as you call it. Call it talk for yourself, though. Hey, y'all, ain't easy. The master devious and can I even even call for talk for yourself. You try to tell me they ain't got people who like Ricky, Danny. Ricky, by you from Hans Grove, they ain't got one body in Guyana from Hans Grove to call and talk for you, boy. <laughs> Ricky, you name it. People say your name, Carly, like it's only I call you name. I gotta stop calling because you ain't got no worth and no value, but. Mm -mm. They ain't got one, but he can call and say, Yes, Ricky helped me with full of me, me, me visa farm. And Ricky helped me for develop my business. Ricky came and dropped many Range Rover. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People don't even want Ricky might have the help. Ricky have the help. Why? People don't even want the rest of the world know that you associate with them. It's a set of Judas you got wrong, you by none of them say how you sell people. Hmm. All right, why you do? Why you do? Buy is true. I buy a funeral wreath from the man in Brooklyn. I do not want to see anything on a height. He's a liar. Man. There's a next man. This is two different people saying they buy wreaths from the man. Rick Ford picked beef with you so your platform can make him famous. He like them little tic tac dangles that is embarrassing shit for little fame. He more low life than the low life. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. You know, even pay EBS. <laughs> Buy ya. Easy. You raise the jumping guy. I did gain one thing from that latrine post RB. I learned how to be a racist. Um, don't be a racist, bro. Don't be a racist. Don't worry. He's not a Rickford Burke is not a representative of black people. When you got a black brother supporting you, I can tell you something. Um, a lot of people don't know, I don't talk about it often. Uh my father is a black man, my mother is Portuguese. And um, I've lived among amongst all the different people in this country. And um, I had a friend named Stephen, God rest the dead. And we would fight and we would have our kind of problem. You know, growing up as a child, I never knew that we had differences. My mother never made me to believe that. Um, my stepfather was a black man, Uncle Bort. And he never made me feel anyway. Um, different as a child, because I was the only little fierce skin one running about the place. Everybody know where we not know where I ain't white, I'm black. When you got, I was telling somebody today, my distaste for people like Rickford Bork is because they mislead good people. I went to Kanji and I asked him, I said, oh, critic, that's the one, that, the, the, the racist one. And you know, when I don't explain to the Rasta man, what we had, the man gave me a pound, the man said, Big up yourself, brother. I didn't know that. Because remember, he getting the information from these people. He see a man with a nice shoes and them things that he feel this man got it going on. You understand? When you meet a man that's molding up against people, you know, he, between the Senate and the day, what Brickford Brothers do during the day? What's his job? Because when you come out, remember, you acting like he's a patriot, you acting like you're fighting with people. But do you genuinely, are you genuinely helping people? Or you're an antagonist? I said this man is a charlatan. That's all he is. Professing to be something he's not. Now, if you don't help nobody, how your primary purpose going to be to create a wedge between your black brothers in Guyana and a predominantly Indian party to make sure they're not. You imagine these banner going in. People in, me and I said, what's the program with black people in PNC? Because if I know, like a woman, like a child, a child wants something, ah, start crying, mommy. And yeah, everybody know how to play a game, forget what I want. Now you, as a black PNC man, has a predominantly Indian government were leaning backwards for please you. You never come and try to see me again. You just buy drinks and reason, girl, forgetting. Why would you listen and follow people like Rickford Bork? Forget problem with people who you could get things from. You have to remember in five years you could vote for who you want to vote for. In the meantime, collect the people that lead, the, the president went to Linden, get thousands. You imagine, you ever hear Rick for Bork talk for anybody get anything? All he doing is trying to create a wedge. Who suffers? The Indians suffer. When black people refuse to collect what they're entitled to, you making a joke? How the Indians they suffer when black people just getting all up in the feelings and PVP like you're some evil machine or the devil? Huh? How does that affect Indians and the PVP? All you have to do is when the problem come. 
collect them with open arms and collect wherever you got collect. The president is a president for all Guyanese. And he ain't only say it in campaign, he continues to say, he continues to show it. So all you have to do, you don't have to give, you're not giving up anything. The PPP is not asking you to swear allegiance. But you know, Rick Ford were frightened. You know, people like Rick Ford Bork and PNC affiliates, right? When you get a taste of what success is, they might lose you. They need you to be in a constant state of disrepair and suffering. That's what they need. People who are suffering, who are looking for a way out. Following the PNC, do you know? That you don't get nothing in this life, them here we just get God does give you. Following the PNC, you will die not getting anything. You gotta wait till God, the second coming of Christ, and then you're gonna get <laughs> no joke. This is godly people. And I tell you, wait. They had a praying president, wait, wait, wait for what? And under six months, a new government come. And every day you see a road being ahead of it. Six months? PNC don't have no time in the Bible. People like Rick Ford Barker, so they have no time in the Bible. They left in you. You will suffer. You will vote for them and continue to suffer. And you will get your reward like God come to you. The second coming of Christ, you will get what coming for you. The BBB ain't got time enough. They build a road now. <laughs> 25,000 now. <laughs> you understand? You imagine the PPP has set the bar so high for the first six months. I don't know what will happen for the rest of the five years. <laughs> The PPP might bail out all the room. I don't know what they're going to do. By the time the PPP is done, by 2025, the PPP started giving people money, cash in the hand for live because they will not have anything else to do. Barbies, Demerara Bridge Building, Corpocari Bridge Building, Road to 58, hotels in Barbies, hotels at the back by Ogle. In six months, you understand? Where the PPP has put itself. You yeah, are paying attention. Normally, a government has to perform to keep up with the next, a previous government. The PPP has outperformed the PNC in six months, five years, outperformed the last five years in six months. You understand how the bar is so high? I don't know what the PPP can do next. No, somebody said the man hurt me feelings. Nobody can hurt me feelings. I said only child. <laughs> we ain't got much other. When it comes to people talking things, yes, you, know you can't hurt me feelings. And people like Rick Ford can't affect me in no negative manner. Where the people them there? I hurt he feelings. You gotta read he posts. I got under his skin when he can turn into full fledged bad woman and start abuse out. Yes, yeah, sir. So I'm telling you, the PPP, this new administration, has set the bar so high. I don't know what they're going to do for the next month. I don't know what they're going to do for the rest of the year. And I don't know if you haven't paying attention to that. You imagine the, the president, first time the president goes to Lindy, get him a thousand house. One thousand house. Of, yeah, get him a thousand house. You understand that? Obviously, when you're going the next thing, you can't get them 10. 10 is joke. People don't get accustomed to 1,000. And that is what you have to look at. You imagine what the PPP has to do at the campaign 2025. You understand what's going on? You are paying attention to what is going on in this country. The government has set 
the bar so high. In 10 years, every dam will be a road, everybody got water, electricity, everything. And then it literally, they would not have anything to do. They would have to give us money in our pocket. What they will find to do, they can't drop back now. When I open me offices all over the place, people come in every day and say, this is my road, this is what I want, this and that. Look at what they've done in six months. And they can't fall back behind them. Right away, it will become noticeable. Right away, they start falling back, it becomes noticeable. Do you know what that means for us? The PPP set a standard so high. Anytime they divert from that, that is a loosening of the elections. You imagine this is just hit the ground running and they roll out this. Much is going to roll out for the next five years. And then, you know, there's always throw a little extra season at for, 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 um, for election time, you know, we'll have 20, 25. They can barely walk by. When they don't give everybody housing and saggy care. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, the news. Did you see the man is a man with class when a girl prepares critic? You cannot even walk side of the man's shoe. Is a man I always look farmer. All right, all right. I understand, Loretta. I understand. I want to answer you. I hear what you're saying. Yes, and people like Rick Ford could take me shoes and sail across the Atlantic Ocean and then open shoes big. Not put your foot in it. The man is obviously older. Than I don't think we care the same age. I start by doing it five years. How long Rick Ford work take for each V day? Five years I did it. Okay. Number one, the realest thing coming out of Guyana. Eh? Make a mess of the media, the politicians, and everybody else. Five years. Only five years. So me know what shoes you're talking about. Now, Lauren Field is handed over. Um, Hello, good night. Good night, good night. Yes, brother. Uh, in, in 2015, when the Abnu took power, Rick Ford Moore came to Guyana to keep some empowerment conference at the Addison Convention Center. And he never paid the people them back. He never paid the people them money for the Convention Center. He still owed them. And that took place in 2015. I was invited to attend the conference. Okay. But I never went because of another uh, event I can give for another information that I knew that he did keep a conference. And if you, if you, if you check the history of what we had and what we were talking about, he was the guy that I went to this. All right. Some empowerment conference. You know? And he did see the other one when I said it for the rest of that he used at the time. And he still paid. I'm going to follow up with it. Because he can't people here in American colleges. Good. So, um, Lowell has handed over the SOPs and the SORs. I'm hoping that they have documented that. So the truth will be told. And I think the SOPs and the SORs that they handed over is going to be a thorn in the side of the PNC for the next elections. Obviously, they are going to see a next win for the next 25 good years. Good Hi, good night. Well, I want to take care of the topic, well, but I just read an online article that uh, a very concerned thing that the Guyanese um, Navy has just seen another fishing boat from Guyana. The Venezuelan just, Navy? Uh, yeah, just sees another fishing boat. This will be a third boat now that they see it. It's very sharp right now. I will I will ask I will ask the security 
um, I think it's the Security Council, whatever you call them, for a, a brief tomorrow. And I will let you guys know what is going on because I think we have to seriously consider how we are treating Venezuelans as we hear. We are start dealing with some deportation. Roger. Safe. So somebody's saying the Venezuelans just um you see them Venezuelan people they don't hear not of them need help too. So you can't really you can't really we can't really rough them up for the actions of a dictatorial um Venezuelan government. We gotta find a way of dealing, we gotta find a way of dealing with this. I think the, 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 the Venezuelans are agitating. Sabrina Jagu said the president um, promised 50,000 jobs. Yes, over the process of five years. He did promise that. I definitely, I'm glad for house lots too, 50,000 jobs, 50,000 house lots, $50,000 a year. In, in in the school thing, right? So I'm glad for that too. So this battery running low, we got from battery save here. We got to wrap up low and feel hand over his SOPs and his, his SORs. And we'll talk a little more about that in the morning. And um, I just wanted to address the issue with um, Paul Baron, Ricky, right? So you guys take care. Everybody got a side. And what I want people to come, I don't want you to come and tell me about the man. I want to come and tell you what the man has done for you. And that's the problem, people. Everybody jumping in. This man, what you want to style the man? Yes, the man got style. The people could call it class, you could call it what you want to call it. How do you benefit from the man? And that's the private gang is, you know. Poor people. Oh, God, you see them all house? What, what you got? What, what, what you got? What you get? Just go by gate, we get the gate for pull. This is what development is about. You understand? 